All right, good morning, Darcy's Nation. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm super happy to be back out, out fishing, and we are inshore today, inshore salt water. And we are, we got a bunch of lines out, trying a couple different things today, taking some nice drag. Don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna land this fish. As you can see, we are on our new flax boat. We, we love this thing. This thing is awesome, but Brian's having trouble today <laughs> and losing his balance a little bit. This is a solid jack. I can't believe he ate that shark bait. He was super hungry. We got a very thick leader on. I believe it's 200 pound leader. So I'm just gonna flip him in. Woo! Monster fish, awesome. That is an awesome way to start the day. All right, beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get this hook out with a hook remover that we have, and we'll show you a trick. And we'll also go through tackle time and the exact rig we're using to catch these fish today later on in the video. All right, look at that baby. Awesome fish. You ready? You see him kicking? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, so you can see jig right in the corner of the mouth there. And we are just using jigs that are appropriate for the current that is going to get down. So this jig in particular is a 1 4 ounce jig and mustad jig and just working it along the seawall and anybody can do this. This is very simple and depending on how much current you have, you know, you got to either downgrade or upgrade on your weight on your jig. But that's a sweet jack. Awesome. Just using circle hooks as soon as a fish hits it, let him run and let him set that hook on himself by himself by pulling drag. And so now I just tighten the drag. And I think this is another nice fish. I don't think this is a shark. Sharks fight a little different. Crazy, we're catching all these big fish on shark baits. We got some hungry jacks in the area this morning, guys. Definitely smaller than that first one, but still a very solid jack creval. He's talking to you guys. <laughs> he wants to be let go. But solid fish, and I just can't believe they're eating these big shark baits with these big giant circle hooks and these big leaders. It's crazy, but awesome. We're catching fish. <laughs> that was awesome. I was holding this rod. We're trolling. We're moving spots right now. Trolling a couple lines. And we're in a slow zone, like, you know, as far as, uh, as, far as driving on the intercoastal goes. And I was holding this down, this big bait. It just got smashed by a big fish. Using my Maxell Hybrid 20, which is a pretty sweet little reel. And it has a lot of drag. We got another solid jack. Awesome. I get for grabbing them. Their tails are really um, sharp, so he just sliced my finger open. But I also didn't want to get hit by that big rapala with those big heavy duty uh, treble hooks on here. But yep, that's the redhead color. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. We love these deeper divers to get deeper in that water column to catch fish. Another solid jack. Guys, These I talk about these guys a lot, but we catch these on a regular basis here in South Florida. They get like 30, 40 pounds. They get monstrous. This guy's probably close to a solid 10 pounds, 8, 10 pounds. A lot of people like to eat jack crevals, but for us, we just, we don't eat them. There he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. We don't like to eat them, but I know a lot of you guys love to eat them. Um, and for us, we just rather release them. And the smaller ones I keep actually for our stone crab trap. So, you know, it is what it is. 